here we are with a very special stream. We're playing Earth Wars from a company called One or Eight. This is a Japanese Xbox One game, one of the very few exclusive Japanese Xbox One games. Yeah, and it's download only, making it the only one of that type. Wait, are you saying this is Japanese only? This is That's not right. So there's no North American release. They do not even have an English speaker on staff. Not a fluent <laughs> one anyway. Oh, He's like super beginner. But he did understand my request for a code, and I got my code. So let's see what Earth Wars is like real quick. I don't know crap about it. Let's you guys see. don't know crap about it. It's just an adventure. Ask me anything about Earth Wars. Uh, Japanese narration. I would expect that eventually they would want to release this in America, but I haven't been able to find that out from them yet because, like I said, they don't really speak English, but I do have a... Is that because they'd like to make money? <laughs> yeah, because they have a very small audience over there. So at least they have to be planning on porting it either to other systems or to America, hopefully. Yeah, no... Not yet. It, it could be just like Onigiri. Onigiri released in Japan before America. Way before America. Because it's still not out in America yet. Soon, though. Because it's a small developer, probably an indie developer. It's an adventure, C-Dub. We're all finding yeah. it together. Let's see. Distinction of sex. So I can choose between guy and girl, the art style, a little bit freaky. Bunch of different heads to pick from. I do want to be the girl, don't I? You always want to be the yeah, girl. Yeah, I just, if I have Whoa. to. You're right, the art style is pretty trippy. It kind of reminds me of uh, Don't Starve. Oh yeah? I haven't played it. Mm-hmm. No, oh, that's a fun game. You can pick your head, you can pick your voice, and your gender. So I'm going to be the girl. This is Earth Wars. Can you pick Don't... a man voice on a girl? Doesn't seem that way, no. Just four gendered voices. Oh, that's that's a missed opportunity. Yeah, that is curious, Bob, that they would do that. Mouth movements are not great. Although, to be honest, we were just playing Blood Bowl 2. The mouth movements aren't too great in that either. Yeah, they're pretty, pretty average. Blah, blah, blah. This is certainly blah, better blah, 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 blah. Lip, lip sync wise. It is better than Nightmares from the Deep, which has the worst I've seen on Xbox One. Although not the worst I've seen ever, because that would be a PlayStation 4 game that Tyler was playing one time. <laughs> well, this is just animation anyway. This is just... Bob Jones, I do hope to review it, or at least write a guide for how to play it if you're an English speaker. But we'll we'll just have to see, because I've got a lot on my plate right now. I've got Blood Bowl, I still haven't reviewed Extreme Exorcism, which we played on Tuesday. And I've got a lot of hardware to review. Speaking of which, today I just got this in the mail. The Razer Mamba Tournament Edition, new mouse. It has some really good stats. I'm looking forward to checking it out. Let right. me know how quickly it breaks. It's, it's not, no. Did you buy a mouse that costs more than $10? I didn't buy it, but I mean, I certainly would not pay anything less than 50 for a mouse. Really? Yeah, because cheap mice suck. I'm a cheap oh, SOB. No. Gotta have a real gaming mouse. I do have a real gaming mouse, but it was only oh, like Oh, we'll see. Bucks. That's close enough. But yeah, this one I believe is about 80 or 90. Enemy encounter. So, looks like we're fighting a scorpion. We've got some unnecessary tutorial stuff there. So what's this like? This is like a Vanillaware game, right? Odin Sphere or yep. something? Yep. I was just playing Odin Sphere. Lucky. Okay. I, when they remake that on Vita and PS4, I'll definitely get it on Vita. Yeah, you need to get a Dragon's Crown for Vita, dude. We could play it together. Yeah. It's, it's really good. I believe you. I need to look up this Kotaku thing about uh, 
custom yeah, firmware. Yeah, we, we all need to learn about that, especially me and Adam. So what do you think of how this game looks? I think it, other than the art style of being kind of off, it's pretty good looking. Yeah, I don't looks... know about the head being oh, bigger you know, than the body. It reminds me a little of, uh, like, um, you level up. That's good. You know, you know, you know, Ska Studios. Yeah. Great, right, they did. So it reminds me a little bit of their stuff, kind of like little hand drawn looking, a little bit, a little bit like the stuff you'd do Ooh, I have on a gun. your on your school books. <laughs> a little bit do it yourself. Yeah, a little bit do it yourself, but it looks nice. I like it. I'm glad. So I got a uh, melee weapon and a gun. X is melee and Y is gun. New skill get. Something to do with sword. Yep. I didn't get to read it. it. Flashed off too quickly. New skill get indeed. Combat evaluation rank A. So it looks like it's an action RPG, and is I mean, is it really just like Odin's Fear? Because this has got to be just like some kind of PS3 game. So I'm wondering what the best comparison is for when I write about it. I mean, Odin's Fear is basically an arena. You do fights. I mean, there's quite a bit of uh, item management and stuff involved, but it's basically, you know, arenas. You kill everything. You level up. Yeah, all that kind of stuff. Ah. Big, big sprite enemies like that. Or not sprites. They're not really sprites, are they? They're, uh... They're, uh... You know, they... They're, like, different parts, and they kind of animate uh, them. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I can't remember what they call that, but yeah. Like Odin Spheres. Like old Konami Genesis games. Yeah, they're like you know, there's like eight or ten different parts and they're just animating them separately. Rather than having it's a cheaper than having to play. draw a bunch of animation frames. Oh my god, yes. Yeah. Although Oh, you know, I'm dying! Don't kill me. I, I would totally like Die, actual you punk animation. Reptilian. Cause to be honest, her her animation's very like, it's very obvious where the joints are, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like and they're just manipulating the... How do I heal? I got a pause menu. Back button shows me the map. We're working our way towards the boss. I wonder if there's mechanics I'm not understanding here, or if I'm just destined to die. I did level up once, so I hope that I start back level 2 when I continue. Ah, Alright, Royal Bob, we'll miss you. He could have stayed in the stream and still been doing ESO. But the thing about Royal Bob is he doesn't like to use a lot of devices at once. He's a cheapskate, eh? It seems that way. Yeah. Yeah, the dishwasher was a ska, one of the ska, yeah. ska game, too. Not my favorite. Too hard. No. Uh, but uh, C Dub saying that he reminds him of it, and it's similar. You know, it's the same kind of 2D kind of. Some nice levels of parallax here. There's foreground layer, multiple background layers. It does look pretty good. Ah. Even though it seems the enemies are well drawn. It's really only the human characters that look off to me. But I don't know if I'll ever get used to them. Well, they got big heads. Yeah, and their their legs are kind of tiny. It's, it's everyone's a big head. I can though. handle a big head, but I think it's also the proportions of the rest of their limbs. Context is everything. There you go. <laughs> a one device man. Yeah, I'm glad you guys are around to check this out because, like I said, it was a little bit of work to even get this game, period. And it feels pretty cool to be playing something that most other players can't play. I mean, they could if they knew how, and we'll write a guide to help them do that. It's, I believe, approximately a $20 game. <laughs> the animation on those birds isn't very good either. They're using some kind of effect to handle the wing flapping. But it's an indie developer, so it's perfectly understandable. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's weird. They're just like squishing yeah. the sprite. I think... Oh, leveled up again. So it's got a leveling up system, and, and that is good, because, you know, just leveling up is fun in general. I would like more of a combo system for the attacks. Because you only have the one melee button. You can wail on it, but it'd be nice if we had two melee buttons. Yeah, you don't have a, like a strong, a weak exactly. and a strong. Exactly, I or do not. Like B button doesn't do anything at all. Why is my gun? 
There's a boost meter. I don't know how that works. So there's some mechanics I have to try to figure out. And, you know, I have a Japanese friend, and I can get him to explain things to me. Then that'll help with writing a guide. Reading through the instructions for that Vita yeah. hack, uh, I'm sorry, the PSTV hack is, uh, it seems pretty complicated. Oh, you just, you download a file and do some, email it to yourself, and then you have to check the email from your system and do another couple steps. It's not that bad. It could be a lot worse anyway. Yeah. Do you, I mean, installing custom firmware on the place, the PSP, that was hard, dude. You had to have a special battery and everything. Or you could... It doesn't look like it's custom firmware. It just looks like it's a special... Yeah, but I, I mean, it's similar in what it's doing. Because hmm. it is overriding your firmware. It's just overriding it with a one that includes a new whitelist. Yeah. I wonder yeah. what the penalty... Does this mean... Does that mean I, I could play a certain PSP that, game? That is what we're wondering, is does it affect PSP compatibility, or is it only Vita? Because I know for sure it does enable you to launch any Vita game, whether or not it actually works. But we don't know. I haven't read enough to know if it affects PSP too. But if it affects PSP, then you could play Dracula X Chronicles, and that would be the bomb. Well, what I really want to play is uh, Blood Blocks. Oh, Metal Gear Solid? Yeah, yeah, that would be cool. You can't play that one? No, Konami, Konami just plain it. doesn't support PS TV. So, like I said, Dracula X Chronicles, that could easily run on it. They just don't allow you to. It's not even that you couldn't... Um... They have to whitelist it. They have to intentionally whitelist a game. And if they don't, then you can't play it. And Konami is like, fudge you. So. I feel like in Europe you can. Maybe a that's few countries do have better compatibility than others due to that... You know, the people of that region deciding to whitelist a game. But it's stupid that they have to make that decision. It should just be whitelisted, period. They should have to opt out of it. That would be more reasonable. Yeah, I think they're just supposed to be in my team, but I don't know if they're actually helping at all. In fact, I don't think so. Every time you get into combat, they all disappear. Uh, wouldn't it be nice if this had, nice if this had multiplayer? Because it seems well suited for it. And there's no dashing, which I don't like. I mean, well, actually, I don't know. Sometimes my character does dash, so I wonder how that's happening. Ah, giant boss with eyeballs and looks like a Zoid with eyeballs. Zoids is a toy line. There was also a cartoon. I had cool. some Zoids. I had the Tyrannosaurus Zoid. Zoidosaurus. <laughs> nice. I never owned any, but I would have enjoyed them. They were wind up. Ah! It's a big boss. I wonder if I'll be able to defeat it. As long as it lets me restart right here if I die. So have I told you guys anything about the game we're playing on Saturday, Project Root? Mm, yeah, nope. you know, we're starting the stream at the same time as always, and we're giving out a bunch of free copies as long as the developer doesn't let me down. He hasn't sent the codes yet, which is worrisome. And uh, it's a, a shoot 'em up of some type, but it's I think it's different. I think you can fly around in any... You can choose what direction you're flying or rotate or something. I don't know. There's something about it that makes it not just a regular bullet hell shoot him up. Ow. So is it 2D? Yeah. Well, it's 3D graphics, but 2.5D. Looks like double tapping A is how you dash. Yeah. Steam or Xbox? Double tap A. Project Root. Uh, all of them. PS4 also, and Vita. Cool. Your particular playing. Uh, I... Well, Obviously, Xbox One. We only play Xbox One unless we have to play something else. Woo! Did it! Level up! Alright! Oh, rank S on that. Nice. I would like to have an achievement because... Yes! There it is! An achievement! Achievement unlocked. Bunch of Japanese text. <laughs> Completed ah, the first mission. Well done. Overall, rank A. New skill get, mission skill complete. Okay. Well, if we can find people to take the codes, I'm sure he'll give them all away. 
Yeah. Sometimes we end up with extra codes, but only when we don't have enough people asking for them. That reminds me, the situation with... What game was it? Goat Simulator? They did accidentally send mm -hmm. European codes instead of American. I have not sent out the proper codes yet, but I will tomorrow. Hello, King Vent Q. Welcome to the stream. How did you end up here? I can't imagine anybody's actually searching for Earth Wars. <laughs> it didn't even pop know, up man. on the games list when I was. How you know, like, do you Twitch know? has a games list, a database, and I typed in the name and it didn't even pop up as a suggestion. I don't know if I didn't wait long enough or if it just isn't in their database. Probably just didn't have anything. Probably not. It only came out last week. Oh, so it's Japanese only and it's brand yes. new. I'm going to say you're the only person streaming this. <laughs> this mouth motion is driving me crazy. It's so bad. It looks like something uh, Conan would have, where he takes a picture and then they cut out part of the mouth. Yes, and you can't have it. the mouth moving and not have the chin moving. Like You just can't do that. This isn't the late Good. 80s, early 90s. Well, I mean, they are a Japanese developer developing for the Xbox oh, One. Their I mean, budget if... probably isn't that big. It might just True, be one dude. but uh, you got to at least... He's like, I'm one guy, but, man. But Chins when you're doing free. the mouth, just have the chin go up and down, too. You know, like, it would be a really similar level of animation you would have to do. Oh, you're following me. Okay, that's good. Yeah, I don't believe we've met before, but it's good to see you. And I totally agree. Dust Elysian Tail should definitely come to Xbox One. I hate that it's on PS4 and not Xbox One, especially after it launched on the 360 first. I mean, it was just on sale on the PC for like four bucks. I saw that, and I was tempted to buy it, except, you know, on, on PC, I'm really only likely to play games that we're going to stream or review. But it is a wonderful hmm. game. One of my very favorite 360 games. So I can adjust volumes here. Vibration on by default, of course. Default, uh, title, and confirm. Skill custom. Let's go to skill custom, see what's there. Makes Pretty sense lady. to me. Big eyes, gray hair. You know, a young lady with gray hair, that's pretty hot. Mm. What color is your girlfriend's hair, I Adam? I don't know, whatever color she colors it. What is it naturally? Uh, like probably brown. That's Deborah's too. But yeah, she dyes it. I, but I've always really enjoyed unnatural hair colors, like real red or blue or green or pink. Paul likes it unnaturally. There you go. Yeah, it's just more exciting to me. It also reminds me of anime and Japanese style art where they use unnatural hair colors anyway. Uh, boy, this is a complex menu. Balance is the word in That's the, the middle. That's the interesting thing. It's showing a brain. It's the interesting yeah, it's thing. like how... How do you balance your skills? Tech, technical, ah. and I can't read the rest. We're not going to mess with that yet. But let's go to weapon construction. What's that like? Miss you, Bob Jones. Good to see you. Oh, he won Goat Simulator. Excellent. <laughs> Congratulations, dude. I hope it was not a PS4 copy. Since there were some problems there. Is it everything you thought it This would guy's be? chin moves a little bit, but it looks awful. So... I think the animation artist just doesn't actually know what he's doing. Bless his little heart. It's like he's having <laughs> Yeah, convulsions. it's ridiculous. Mouth is moving and only the back of his chin and like the side of his face. It's weird. Weapon construction. Oh man. Yeah, these menus are... So I did pick up some weapons, it looks like, or I can build these weapons. I'm not exactly sure. Yeah, it looks like these are what I can build using materials that I picked up during the mission. I'm definitely going to have to ask my friend for help on this. My friend Lifeflower. Good guy. I got a free, a, an extra code. I was going to give it to him, but he already bought it on day one because, you know, he's an Xbox supporter. So we're going to do one more mission, then we'll call it quits because I understand my boys here are tired. Yeah, work comes early. 
Is that okay with you, Brian Adams? I don't know who you're talking to. <laughs> you said I could call you that. Yeah, he responded. <laughs> oh, go to space. Nice. Yeah, no, the go to space is 200 Gs, man. And that would have... No, you're right. It was 100. My bad. Yeah, that game is just ridiculous. Oh, guess what? We, we got Goat Simulator More Goats Edition. I, uh... I, wow. uh... I saw Deborah playing it on my friend's <laughs> list. Did you get a chance to look at the stream video, Adam? I edited it down. It's a really good video now. I think I watched the uh, the well, one that was archived. Yeah, on I Twitch. mean, don't watch like when I bother to I mean, edit I, one. I, I watch the sure. watch the edit because it makes it well, better. When you, it wasn't done when I watched it. I watched it like the next morning. Well, it's done now. If you get a chance, you should listen to it because I think it. I get up in the morning and I, wa I have a coffee and I watch Aww. the Saturday stream. Well, if you have a chance, you should watch the goat someone because like I don't do the edits very often because it's so time consuming. Like, literally about three hours of work, but it does make for a really good video in my opinion. Yeah. Tyler made a few jokes. He was pretty clever here and there. Weird. You know, I mean, he wasn't paying great attention throughout most of the stream, regrettably. Well, or at least uh, maybe like half the stream. But when he was, he made some good jokes. Playing Mega Man. And yeah, that's the games. thing. If we have Tyler on mic nowadays, he doesn't commit to actually watching the stream. So most of the time he's doing something else. Such a yeah. slacker. I just enjoy making fun hey. of Hey. So. I get enough of that here at yeah, home. You're not dying. You're not dying <laughs> enough, Paul. This is like not what I signed up for. You're right. It is a lot different from the average stream we do, isn't yeah. it? It is. Like, you should already be complaining how hard this game is and giving it to us. I only do that when the game is actually too hard. get slaughtered for an hour and a half almost. On what? Oh, Blood Bowl? On football. Forget yeah. you! Did you ever go back? Huh? Paul, did you ever go back to Ori? No. Well, I mean, like, one time I played it for, like, maybe another 30 minutes, but no, I never went back to it for reels. That's too bad. Yeah, I like it, but the lack of fast travel actually makes me like it significantly less than Dust in similar games. Oh, a lot of backtracking? Yes, it's ridiculous backtracking. And, you know, the... A big part of that style of game, the Metroidvania style of game, is going back to areas that you've completed before once you get new abilities. The fact that you actually have to run and jump the whole way, and there's spikes everywhere, because there's way too many spikes in the level design, makes the backtracking pretty annoying. So we got a shark, guys. Ah! They're land sharks. Or swordfish or something. I don't even know what they are. I like the environment, though. The actual background art, I'm going to say, is a lot better than the character art. Yeah, the character art's highly yeah. stylized. Just not a style that particularly appeals to me. But the background art is just plain solid. It is pretty good. The, what is that, four or five yeah, layers quite of a lot. I mean, cause, nice. Yeah, even though hardware nowadays can handle any number of layers, a lot of games well, just yeah. don't take it enough advantage of that. Well, if you're going to do a... 2D side scroller like this, you gotta have good parallax back. Totally there. agree. And yeah, isn't it nice to see a game that's totally 2D? Cause we don't get that much of that nowadays either. Eh, also, uh, you need to play Steam. Well, games. on Steam, I'm talking about console. They're like everywhere. And I and also not pixel art, cause uh, I mean, well, is this? Would you consider it pixel art? I don't think you would. Yeah. No, this yeah. isn't pixel this, art. No. So, no, and not that I don't like pixel art, but I mean, it's nice to see a game that isn't trying to be retro. It's just trying to be the best-looking 2D game they were able to make mm. with their resources. Because mm. I, I do highly, highly enjoy pixel art, but you don't see a lot of this kind of art much anymore. Uh, I think you see this all the time. Depends on what... I, on Xbox One, you don't. Vita... Yeah, I would say you're more likely to see this on the PC or the yeah. PS4. Japanese style games, yes, and some Steam games, yes. But we don't get we don't get Japanese developed games on Xbox One too much that aren't triple A three D games. Uh yeah. by the way, I just want to point something out. 
I'm checking my friends list, and Ro Bob claims that he was uh, going to play some. Was he yes, going to play his uh, silly yeah. MMO? He's playing the Frozen <laughs> what free the crap, play Robo Bob? puzzle game. You can't leave the stream to play something awful. That's embarrassing. You were so boring. So I you just went to play uh, Frozen. I just want to know. He's not actually here for us to rib him for to hear us rib him about it, but he he should be. Like Frozen puzzle game. He'll just have to watch the replay later. And his guy is wearing these ridiculous little. Shoot, like they're, they're like slippers with faces. I hear on it's them. a really bad port, so it's barely even worth playing unless you just really want to match three game on your X phone because it is the only one. Uh, well, yeah, is yeah. it really? But it, it's the thing is, it's a phone game, like it's a it's a you know, it's a candy crush, like you have so many turns and then you either have to pay for them or wait till yeah. tomorrow. Like, it's, it's not kind of horrible to just to make that available to a console audience, even though it's not well suited yeah, for it. No, it's okay. I played it. I actually played quite a bit of it. Well, not quite a bit. Maybe 10, 15 levels or something. It's, but it's for it not to run extra well and for it to have problems with people losing their save files and stuff, that's pretty BS. Because you're talking about the maximum level of simplicity for a video game. Well, you're, you're talking about... But, well, that is... The thing is, you're talking about a game where you can put real money into yeah, it. Yeah, and right? that's just another reason. Like I can, I can, I can buy power ups, I, I can buy turns, and Mission all that clear. kind of stuff. And if something like that were to happen, well, that would be an, that would be pretty bad. Yeah, because people have lost their save files, and if I lost my save file after spending money on a game, I would definitely ask for a refund. Yeah, I'd be mad. I only got an A rank overall, but I got an S rank on the mm. final fight or whatever. And another so achievement. yeah, this obviously this game is a little difficult for importers because there is so little English text in the game, and there's systems to figure out. We're gonna help you with that. We're gonna write a guide, make it easier for you guys, and I I hope everybody will get it. It looks like a lot of kanji too, not a lot of like not a lot of uh, katakana yeah, or whatever. A lot of the menu options like weapon construction, a lot of that stuff is kanji, and so that is the stuff that most even mild Japanese speakers won't be able to read. Like here on this brain menu, only one of the options is something I can read. Only well, only one of the four external options, I should say. Uh, but it's cool. I'm glad it's on Xbox One. We definitely need this kind of game. This is really this is a game that should be on the Vita. So to be able to play a game like this on the bone is great. Oh, there's so-called gamer. A little late, so-called. A little late. Which idiot is that? I think he's so talking about yeah. Adam. Dude, don't talk about my friend Adam. No, like that. there's no one. To, no one. Yeah, no one's gonna walk in and call <laughs> yeah. me an idiot. That's what I'm. Adam's fighting words. <laughs> That's right. I want to thank my pals Brian and Adam for joining me for another stream. My pleasure. No Excellent. All right, catch you guys later. Don't hate. Appreciate. Have a good one. Okay, bye. There you go. Bye-bye! <laughs> Bye-bye!